Hi, all of you awesome scuba divers out there. Welcome to Scuba Diving Magazine and welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A, uh, where I'm Mark, a former scuba diving instructor, do my best to answer your scuba diving questions. Uh, so if you do have any scuba diving questions, by all means, pop it down in the comment section underneath this video uh, and type out this Ask Mark hashtag at the beginning or the end uh, it doesn't really matter as long as it's in there because it highlights it behind the scenes so that i can find it uh, in the meantime i do type out an answer so you do get an answer as soon as possible uh, you don't have to wait for a video to come out uh, and the community as well do an awesome job answering any unanswered questions so well done everybody uh, so if you do see any unanswered questions uh, by all means go nuts uh, as long as you know the answer um, today I'm answering a question from Mr. Neo Buxer about uh, dust caps on first stages. So Mr. Neo Buxer says, hello from Egypt, Mark. Hello from the United Kingdom. Um, I've been diving for around 10 years now, uh, cleaning my regulators hundreds of times. Tell me about it. Uh, one thing that I keep thinking about but never really understood is why don't regulator manufacturers companies just make a seal instead of a dust cap so that we can just submerge the first stage? Uh, some do. Uh, not all, but some first stage designs have what's called a, an auto closure device or an ACD. Uh, that's what the Aqualung version is called. Uh, other brands may call it something different, uh, but it's basically um, on the, I think it's on the A-clamp version as well, um, definitely on the DIN version, on the inlets you have a, a little plug that's pushing upwards and you, you, you can see it in the, uh, in the inlet and it's, it, yeah, basically as soon as the regulator is depressurized, the, uh, the plug kind of pushes forwards and seals the inlet so that crud can't get in. Um, that being said, it's they. I don't think they recommend like full-on submersion even with that, um, just because there's a non-zero chance that water can get in. Um, some dust caps, uh, especially the DIN versions, can be watertight but again the, the manufacturers will always be reluctant to call it watertight just because then if water does get into a, uh, a first stage because a lot of people will like soak their um, their first stage like overnight um, then yeah they're kind of liable for any water ingress because well you say that it's watertight um, but it's uh, my, my first stage is ruined now because um, because I thought it was going to be watertight uh, because they either didn't screw it on tight enough or the uh, the O-ring seal uh, was missing or broken. So it's just kind of it's not really worth it for the manufacturers. Uh, but back to the uh, the ACDs, um, some of them they they've been around for quite a while, but some of them were known to buzz whilst you were underwater because it's a spring-loaded valve every time you inhale the um it would kind of flutter and um or sometimes it would flutter uh so you could get this kind of every time that you inhale which is really really annoying uh there can be other causes for it but it was quite frequent with a um it wasn't aqualung i forget the brand of it um this was like 10 something plus years ago and um uh, yeah it, it would just flutter gently uh it, it used to be a, a red the one that i first remember you had this little red cone kind of sticking out of the inlet and um uh, yeah the, you, sometimes someone will come in and say oh hey my regulator's like humming or quacking whilst i'm inhaling um and you'd look at it and you go that's probably going to be the the cause of that. Um, but touch wood, I don't think I've heard um, anything from the, the Aqualung one. And there's another brand, I want to say Mares has some kind of um, closure device to prevent stuff from getting in. But it's, it's one of those, like it, it'll always have an asterisk with it, uh, especially with my recommendations in that um, with the, uh, with this like, screwed on nice and tight would i be happy submerging that 
if it's my own one, then yes, I probably would. Um, would I recommend anyone else to uh, to do it themselves with their own equipment? No, just because liability. Um, but yeah, you'll probably be surprised at just how watertight some of these dust caps actually are. Um, yeah, but yeah, I, I always have to sort of recommend that. No, the the, the safest way is yeah with your with your thumb because your thumb's pretty waterproof and you know how much you're uh, you're sealing that and um, failing that, uh, attach it to a cylinder if you've got a a cylinder near where you're around. Um, give them a wash. But yeah, they they kind of do exist. The uh, the ACD system from um, uh, from Aqualung. That there's going to be other brands out there that have a, a similar system. It's a it's a little spring loaded valve, and uh, and then a dust cap on top of that. It's probably going to be the next safest if you are just putting your first stage um, depressurized in the water. Um, but yeah, they kind of do exist. Yeah, most of the time I imagine it comes down to like liability as much as it would be a selling point for a regulator to be able to say that, yeah, you could, you don't need a dust cap. You can just submerge that unpressurized. Uh, that would be quite a nice selling point. However, things don't always go like to plan, especially when you sell things to the general public. Uh, so uh, yeah, I imagine the manufacturers are probably a bit reluctant to, uh, to make that kind of promise. Uh, but yeah, we, we do have systems out there on first stages to help prevent moisture from getting into our first stages. And um, yeah, one of them is, uh, or one of the best is like your, um, well, the best is a pressurized cylinder because then there's no way of any moisture getting inside of that unless it's already in the cylinder. Uh, failing that, your thumb, then you've got a, a, a good fitting um, dust cap with a, a seal, an actual sealing surface to be able to, uh, to seal that o-ring against it. And you also have those uh, like ACD systems in um, some regulators. They're not overly popular, um, probably because trying to prevent them, because when you're making like a handful of them, it's quite easy to, uh, to make sure that they don't hum. But if you're mass producing them, um, yeah, chances are some of them are gonna have a little bit of a buzz when, uh, when they're pressurized and when you're breathing from them. But um, yeah, the, the, they are a system that does exist. Uh, any other questions, by all means, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. Uh, use this AskMark hashtag to get it featured in an up and coming video. And remember to head over to our website, scubadivingmag.com, check out the latest scuba diving news, and of course, subscribe to the channel here on YouTube if you haven't already. Thank you for watching everybody, and of course, safe diving.